In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called Word Art. Word is, Art has been around for a long time. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can cl click on the Insert tab here and go over to the text area and select Word Art. And they've got about 15 predefined options here for you. And we'll just pick one here. And then you just type your text on top of it. So I notice that this is anchored to the paragraph uh, that I was on. If I want to move it, I've got to get that anchor moved up. So if I want to move it up to the top paragraph, uh, just keep an eye on the anchor. Now it's on the top paragraph. And you can also just type in text. And then after the fact, if you decide you want that to be word art, you can go to your insert tab and go up here and choose word art. And you can pick an option from the word art and it works the same way. So there's two easy ways to get word art into a document. And when you do, you get the shape format ribbon up here and uh, all of these options. We're not going to mess with the ones over here. Uh, we're going to look at the shape styles. And this is basically, you know, a font and a font color, a background and a background color, and uh, a shape and a border. And I can't see any of this because I don't have this. Let's move that over to the right. And now let's we should get live previews on all this. So uh, you can see what they do. And down here, some of these are uh, this uh, checkerboard, gray checkerboard here indicates you've got a transparent background. And we can only really see that if we like drag this one over here and then take this one and let's drag that on top and let's take one of these okay so now it's got so now it's got an opaque background and it's hiding some of this and if we go over here and uh, just kind of work our way down you know we can see that background changing colors and then we get down here and the background is transparent so it's not uh, overlapping anything it's not hiding anything except exactly the what would be behind the text then we've got if you don't like the presets, uh, you can go here and you can pick any shape, fill, color that you want. This applies to the shape now, not the text. You can select an outline for the shape, and we're doing a color here. So as I move over the colors, we should see the outline change. And there's some other things you can do here. You can uh, change the way that that outline looks as well. And there are shape effects here. And we have a shadow, and I'm going to have to move this over again so that it's visible. So let's do shape effects. And you can do a shadow. We get a live preview on these. These are all for providing shadows for the entire box. And we can also do a reflection here, and we'll do a live preview on these. You can do glow, which will make the shape glow. we got different colors here. And on all of these, if you pick the options down here at the bottom, you can customize uh, we've got soft edges here, and if I, this isn't going to work on this one because it has a transparent background. So let's pick something like this, and now let's try shape effects, and we'll do soft edges. And what it does is it just kind of, you know, feathers out the edges for you. If I go this far, I think I lose the whole thing. But uh, So that's what that does. Uh, we can put a beveled edge around it, make it look like it's raised the 3d effect and we've also got the ability here to rotate things um, in three dimensions these are probably of questionable usefulness uh, and again you can go down here and you can make it look any way you want it to look okay now uh, we can go back here we can change the style if we want to uh, and as i pause the mouse over you get a live preview of those so you can see what that does and we've got uh, the ability to change the fill color of the text so all this stuff over here has to do with the rectangle and all this stuff here has to do with the actual text so i'm going to make my text uh, red which uh, looks terrible on blue and i'm going to give it an outline and so you see the outline showing up around the text not around the box and we've also got the same text effects here uh, or at least most of them uh, that we had before so you can pick shadow and i got to move it again. So let's move it over here. So let's do shadow. And the shadow is going to be around uh, the text. And this is getting to be, and this is kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick a different, uh, there we go. 
Now let's try our text effects and see what we get. So there's a shadow behind the letters. We can do reflections. We can make the letters themselves glow. We can add a bevel to the letters. The letters are kind of small, so it's really kind of hard to see what's going on with those here. Uh, we can do a 3D rotation. And we can transform the shape. So this is not an option for the shape itself, but this is an option for uh, the text. So they've got all of these different outlines, basically, and the text will change its shape to fill the outline. In WordArt, you can also change the text direction. You can rotate it uh, right. You can rotate it left. And we'll go back to horizontal. You can also align the text within the box. Uh, if you make the box just the same size as the shape, then that's not uh, a big deal. Uh, you can also link a text box to another text box. So if I don't have enough room here for all of my text, you know, I can uh, link it. Let's do create link. And it wants to know which one this one's going to fill into. And yeah, it's okay. So let's cancel that. And I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to create a link. Yeah. Got to be on this one first. So the one that you are linking from, you select first, then you create a link, then you click on the one that you want to pour the text into. See that nice little icon there? And so now if I run out of room in here, uh, it just fills over into, spills over into the next one. 